Alright, so I seen a clip of this game. I just wanted to check it out. It's called The Outcast. You buy one. You Actually, I remember what this game is now. This is the game uh, I had to do training with Bruce Lee a while back. They they finally showing what it looked like. Sukuna. Lala. Yo, a sweet man's hair. <laughs> oh, a left arm is a win. That man looks like he bout it. Qi Feng Dui Shou, Dang Quan Li Yifu.
Oh, he got that. We're going to run it back after this is done. I don't think they had I don't think the Naruto thing had anything to do with it. Yeah. So Alright, so one thing I hope I'm wrong about is that I hope this isn't like a, a mobile like a specific a specifically like mobile game. Like, cause it, it looked like it had console aspects to it, but I know it, it's also a mobile game, but I hope it's not like, you know, just the same select characters, build, do a build and do damage to boss or whatever. I hope it's more than that because this, this game looks like it could be more than that. Like, especially with the fighting depth, but I didn't see, I didn't see any jump attacks. So that's what this was got me odd. Like no mobile game so far, except probably like Devil May Cry has has like jump in it for some weird reason. They just think combat doesn't require a jump button. But when you add a jump button, it adds more depth to the to the combo system. But there was some stuff in here that I did like. Like I like the whole like I guess it was like story mode he was playing where he's he's running through the thing right here. And it had like the, the QTEs and you're dodging and stuff. But you see how on the side it has um it has like two buttons. It had like a dodge button and a jump button. Which means like it's they how can I say that the control scheme is like very basic for like um for like uh mobile controls and I, I hope that's not the case. So you had like a parkour jump button and then and then a, the other button is the uh, side set. I like the concept of it though, like like you had these guys and they had like like chi energy or whatnot. He said so he said they were um in the story they were Tao mages, which is basically the equivalent equivalent of like Chi warriors if you used to watch Jackie Chan. It's like that. So like they, they basically like like martial artists that they use like key energy and whatnot. And I like I like concepts like that. Like it, it's just always cool. But you see here now he had like he has a punch attack. Okay, so he has dash, which is run. Then he has sidestep, which is another button. Um, it looks like counter is a button, and it looks like some sort of chi blast is a button. But you see at the top, the top of the screen right there. I don't know why I pointed to it. Like <laughs> y'all are seeing through my eyes, but. <laughs> At the top of the screen, it shows like the um the amount of damage that you're inflicting on the opponent. Usually, when it has it like that, it's always some sort of like build system to the game, which it, it's okay. It's just that's just not my forte. Like I, I want to just play the game and like 
like with a couple of different characters run through it do different do different combos and whatnot and and see how to beat a boss with like different different types of moves that you have instead of just building like oh i'm gonna just do this gonna be a critical build and it's gonna do like it's gonna be dps crazy and then i'm gonna be able to kill him in like four hits like i don't want to if, if that's the case i don't want to deal with that and then also you can see up there you see it says x4 which is like he has i assume he has like four times as much of a full health bar as that when it when you do that for a long time it becomes it, it makes it like it makes it like the the bosses are just like how do you call it this this word for it it's like health health demons or something like that where <laughs> i don't know what it's called where it's like um a, a damage sponge there you go it's like i said health demons <laughs> where did that come from but it's like that like it just feel like i'm just i'm just fighting a boss for like eight to ten minutes just doing the same thing i don't want to feel like that but go ahead let's put the martial arts the animation looks crispy though like it He's fighting three dudes at the same time. They kind of got that that's that Zen Zone Zero effect where it's like, you know, you just perfect dodge when you when you perfect dodge and then attack. Just wish it had like more depth to that, you know? Cause even in that game, like there's there's more depth to the combo system that they that they created. It's just that there's no jump button. But there's like juggle states and things like that. See, yeah, it, it, he's there's a block button. There's like a yeah block button. I guess you take like small chip damage or whatnot, and then you parry and counter attack. That's the fireball attack. I see there's a limit to how much you can spam the counter. But see, then there's this giant snake, which is like, it's a it's a boss fight, clearly, but... Uh, I don't know. I mean, you, you, can, you can do that. You can do that in the mobile game. <laughs> I swear that guy looked like he just straight rip off of Sukuna, but... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't, I can't read Chinese. If it's Japanese, I can read it, but... And then this person has a gun on their arm. And that's their attack. So it looks like they just are the range character. Because he keeps pressing the, the, the attack button, but it's just shooting. So that's not a special attack. That's just how the character plays. But it, it it definitely looks cool. I just if this is a game though where where you gotta just keep grinding and and you know getting like a, a, a set build and stuff like that, I probably wouldn't do that. I probably would. I just would want to play it just to fight the bosses and you know beat these opponents and whatnot. <laughs> That's her special. Oh, that that stance look crazy, bro. <laughs> like, he got like some venom type of joint. Electric sure you can. See, like that right there, like, uh, go back. Try to clip that. 
Like right there, like after he did that, like I would expect like you could do like a you know some crazy whole air combo, like some sort of like follow up, not just the move just launches them into the air. Like I, I would want more combo depth than what I'm seeing here. Cause again, the animation and the the like the moves themselves look fluid. It's just when you're playing it, like if you're not feeling the freedom of the combat, then it it won't it won't feel like really fun and engaging to you. It just feel like it just dodge this is just another dodge and attack game. You know what I mean? She like sliced up into like a, a blade fireball. <laughs> I was saying this guy, this guy reminded me of the guy from uh, De uh Devil May Cry, um, uh, Dead or Alive, Bayman, the, the submission dude that he, <laughs> that you play as, and he counter and break your arm and all that. Uh, her fighting style look crispy. Oh, that that's actually PvP mode. I just realized that there's a PvP mode in the game. good i just hope this isn't another generic gotcha game you know what i mean like i just i i can't i can't anymore man it's just it's too much it's too much it's too much it's like if you if if you're a person that plays gotcha games like you know you're not playing like more than probably three gotcha games like you just can't there's no way you could keep up with that like every day you gotta log in do the dailies get the rewards save up Wait for the next character to drop. Hopefully get them. If you don't get them, if you pay to play player, then you will pay to play player. I, that's not me. I don't do that. But it's just like, I don't want to grind every day. I just want to play the game. Like, that's the, that's the problem I have with Zen of Zone Zero right now. Like, and I like that game. Like, that game, the combat is, is fun. Like, and then all these new characters have, like, these new type of moves, like, originally when you played the game when it first came out it was just like kind of just attack like do five hit combo and dodge right but now they they added something where like you attack then it's like this just what we call just frame moves where like after the third hit of the combo you can if you pause the attack and then wait a second and then press attack again it does a different combo completely then you have other characters that have like hold buttons where like it does like a heavy attack which is a completely different thing so you're adding more depth to that game. The problem that I have with that game is that it doesn't let me continuously play it. Like it, there's this there's this like energy system with these batteries where it's like, let's say each mission is like 60 battery and then you get 240 like per reset of the battery. So it's like, what do you want me to just play just five missions a day and then I can't play the game no more? Like that's that's whack. Like I want to keep playing because I enjoy the game and I want to also like level up my characters to a point where like I'm having fun with the build that I have for my characters. So again, if you if you if this game is like that, like you have to then you're not just competing with the fact that your game looks good. And, you know, that's what's enticing people to buy it. It's just the fact that, like, there's so many other gotcha games. You got to beat those. You got to get people off of those games to play your game, too. Because it's it's too much. It's going to be... I'm telling you, like, this there's a game called... Um, I think it's called Wuther, Wuthering Waves, which looked cool to me. Like, I, I tried it. it. It looked cool. But it's just like, bro, like, I just can't play all these games at the same time. Like, I'm, I'm playing stuff on playstation like i, I don't want to sit there and, and every day i gotta remember to log in to play this like i'm playing dragon ball legends and i'm playing zen zone zero and i have double may cry on the on the uh, pc which i i hardly even play anymore and i really like that game but 
it's too much. Like I just can't can't do it, man. I just really can't do it. It's, it's just takes too much time out of your day and you would think it's short just because you all you have to do is log in and do dailies it's like no you gotta do dailies you gotta do the event quests you gotta do, like i think gotcha games need to like every game doesn't need to be a gotcha game moving forward it's like and i i do like the fact that this is an era though that is showing the power of like mobile gaming which means like again nintendo with the switch like you gotta you gotta step it up like yeah mario is gonna sell smash brothers is gonna sell all that but if if your console is doing less than what these mobile games are showing then there's no excuse like all of these games these gotcha games and stuff should be on switch like realistically like the game should just be on switch because now you have a console and then you also have a gotcha game that somebody can enjoy playing you have especially on the go like a lot of people play the switch on the go so you could do that i, I don't want to talk about the switch saying this ain't about the switch but but yeah like every game don't need need to be a gotcha game like this game could have been like a cool martial arts game like ashura's wrath or something like that where it just has like a a story you just you got martial arts you got different characters you play through it you fight bosses so you just keep going like that you got you can add stuff to it later on but I don't know. I just, I just feel like this era is just, you know, it is what it is. It's, I feel like they, everybody tries to do like a some sort of easy win scenario. But hey, this this minute, this video about to be twenty three minutes long, and I didn't want it to be that long. But hey, it is what it is. So I'm ending it here, and I will upload some more games that I see.